as you guys all know we were discussing the bacteria okay so in the previous video we were done with the bacteria glycocalyx and with all the structure and all the points so second characteristics of the bacteria was the second characteristic that was the bacteria cell wall so today we will discuss the bacteria cell wall okay so bacteria cell wall what is cell wall cell wall is basically the covering covering on the outer side that is called the cell wall okay so bacteria is also having the cell wall for the production purpose for supporting purpose okay so if you talk about the bacteria cell wall that is basically composed of that is composed of two that is composed of the murine what is murine murine is basically the mixture of two conjugated compounds not conjugated molecules yes conjugated molecules so the cell wall is made up of murine murine is basically the mixture of two conjugated compounds which means the combination of the two molecules together we are calling that as a conjugated and what are those conjugated two but first one is the peptido glycum okay and second one we are having that is the lipoglycum and if you talk about the peptidoglycan what does it mean peptidoglycan means that peptidoglycan sugar sugar plus we are having the peptidoglycan and the lipoglycan which is the peptide plus sugar if you talk about the peptidoglycan and if you talk about the lipoglycan which is lipid plus you can say that sugar okay sugar plus protein lipid plus sugar okay so this cell wall is basically composed of two conjugated molecules now if we talk about the general talk about the cell wall so cell wall the cell wall is basically classified on the basis of its composition okay so the scientists was there if you talk about the uh, there they as it is all know that bacteria cell wall is basically composed of the murine and if you talk about the gram positive and gram negative these both are the type of bacteria okay and these both bacteria cell walls were basically classified on the basis of composition let's see how their cell walls was classified on the basis of the composition so there was a scientist whose name was christian gram he was basically a scientist who developed the staining staining techniques staining what color techniques okay he used the different colors he did, he used the color on the gram positive cell wall which means gram is the scientist name he used the cell wall on this bacteria cell wall and their bacteria cell wall got colored that's why we have put the name here the positive and their cell wall was not colored from the st uh, staining so we are calling that as a negative so we are having two type of bacteria gram positive and gram negative so christian was a scientist who developed this staining techniques and he basically classified the positive and negative cell wall on the basis of the composition okay so he also classified on the basis of the staining response okay that positive and negative after that gram positive and gram negative was basically found after the staining response okay so in this video we are discussing about the peptidoglycan structure let me tell you guys about the peptidoglycan structure okay which is main in the cell wall composition so if you talk about the peptidoglycan so its composition basically be based on the peptide chain plus sugar plus sugar this is called the peptidoglycan one more one thing i want to tell you guys is that 
so two sugars basically join together in the chain okay we one is the n acetyl muramic acid this is one sugar and n acetyl glucose amine this is second sugar and if we talk about the what is n acetyl glucose amine so that is basically the acetyl plus glucose plus amino group if we talk about the n acetyl muramic acid that is n acetyl glucose amine plus lactic acid so that we are calling that as a muramic and here we are having the glucose plus amino group that's how we are calling that as a glucose amine so now let's move towards the structure okay this is the nam i'll be telling you what it is okay so these three these both will be also same like this chain what is this chain here you can see n acetyl muramic acid n acetyl glucosamine these both are sugar these both so these both sugar one sugar muramic one sugar you can see that glucosamine one sugar then muramic then glucosamine muramic then here we will be having muramic glucosamine muramic glucosamine so these alternative sugars are basically combined and making a chain that we are calling that as a peptidoglycan chain and we are here we are having the some kind of a you can short tetrapeptide chain this is the short tetrapeptide chain okay which consists of tetrapeptide which means the it consists for the amino acid first one is the l2 alanine okay and glutamine glutamic sorry and we are having the lysine so these four basically amino acid join to make a short tetrapeptide chain okay and here we are also having this chain here also we are having this chain and here we are having this line which is joining both so between both this line which is called the five penta penta means five okay penta glycine unit linkage which means that five glycine unit is there glycine unit and they are basically combining both these tet short tetrapeptide so that we are calling it a five penta glycine linkage okay and if you talk about this is the basically the arrangement of the peptidoglycan in bacteria cell wall okay and this was about the we have discussed about the peptidoglycan structure and the little bit introduction about the cell wall so in the next video we will discuss about the gram positive and gram negative